last week I was working with a client and she was telling me about her experience with practicing masturbation. And she would say a good thing and then qualify it with a but. And it was always a critical voice. You know, like I could see progress, but it wasn't quite where she wanted to be. She always found a negative. So it's that critical mind. So Carolyn, how does the critical mind block orgasm and pleasure? Well, it's it's saying I'm not enough. Mm -hmm. It's saying I'm not worth it. Mm -hmm. It's saying I'm probably going to fail. Yes. So they'll say, oh, I was doing vulva massage and I had all these good feelings. And then I would touch it. And then I felt this thing. But I didn't get to the orgasm or, you know, it probably was taking me too long. And we go into that self-deprecating thing Mm -hmm. that we do as women. Um, Orgasm energy is creative energy. Yes. How are we creative? We're creative when we're relaxed, when it's, we're lighthearted, um, when things are fun, Mm -hmm. when it's, there's no goal, there's no heavy tension energy coming in, right? You can't put a gun to someone's head and say, paint a fantastic, (laughs) you know, picture or write Mm -hmm. a a best-selling novel. You know, we need time and we need space. We need to play. Yes. You know, we need to bring that energy into it is that it, it's not that serious. Right, right. And without judgment. And I understand it because as women, we are criticized all the time, all the time. We're so used to hearing criticism that it gets stuck in our head and we do it to ourselves without even realizing it. You could create a ritual. Betty was a big believer in this because mm-hmm. um, when she first started out, she had that same critical mm-hmm. mind loop, you know, erotic mind loop running. And she would just say, nope, I don't do fear or no, I don't do guilt or nope. And whenever I'm with a client, I'll say, okay, let's take that statement and flip it. Right. Right. Instead of saying, well, I just can't do this. I was never given the information and support. Mm-hmm. I needed to make the connection. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Comparison is the thief of joy. So, you know, if, if you're always diminishing the pleasure that you have because you're expecting something bigger or something more, uh, I don't have full body orgasms all the time. You know, sometimes they're small and sweet, you know, sometimes, sometimes even just a vulva massage without an orgasm Mm -hmm. brings me great pleasure. So, you know, it's kind of like accepting in the moment what's there for you with your body. And letting the body lead. See, the Mm -hmm. the self-criticism in the mind is the mind saying, nope, Mm -hmm. I'm leading. Yes. Right. I'm keeping you in this loop. And orgasm, the region why the French call it le petite mort, a little death, Mm -hmm. is because we get a moment of empty mind because the body is leading. Yes. And that's what makes it so healthful. Mm-hmm. Right. Because we meditate and we exercise and, and we listen to music and we do all of these things to kind of shut off the mind. Mm-hmm. The orgasm is what takes the mind body and it connects them together. Mm-hmm. So the body is leading, but the mind is just taking a backseat. The mind is there. Yeah. And we get a hit of all the pleasure hormones. And that's the reset mm-hmm. that we so desperately need living in the modern culture that we're living in. Yes. So orgasm is a natural state. Mm-hmm. Yes. Women have greater capacity for pleasure. Mm-hmm. Take your time and you'll get there. And if you hear yourself saying something nasty, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, lock it out, say it out loud. Say, I'm not doing self you know, critique. I'm not doing doubt. I'm not doing guilt. Mm-hmm. If you control your thoughts and you push it out and you refuse to think them, you'll stop thinking them eventually. Yes. It's just a thought. So just tell your mind, I'm not listening to you right now. 